YouTube, social media world. It's your boy Anonymous Based, and I'm biggity biggity back, biggity biggity back, biggity 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 back with a new reaction video. This time I got another request. Go ahead and give a shout out to the person that gave me the request. Let's go ahead and get into it, man. So if you're new to the channel, go ahead and give this video a like. Share with a couple of your friends. Make sure you follow me on all my social media sites. And if you got something specific, go ahead and drop it in that comment section. So we are back with another Lil Peep reaction. And shout out to Lil Peep and rest in peace. And this track is called Beat It, the official audio. All right. So let's go ahead and get into it, man. All right, all right, man. Okay, okay. Shout out to Lil Peep and rest in peace, Lil Peep, for coming through with the fire track called Beat It. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the reaction, man. So first impressions of me hearing this for the first time. Yo, this track... I'm not gonna lie, this track is a this this track is a banger, man. No, nah, I'm not even gonna lie. I'm not even gonna lie, this track is a banger, bro. And uh one of the reasons I well one of the main reasons why I would say this is a banger is because not only is the beat simple, laid back, and melodic, and it, it, it has kind of a it has kind of a melancholy undertone to it, to where you would expect a more I don't want to say like a, a, a more of a lower vibration type of uh, feel when it comes to the lyrics, but that's kind of what I get. It's like the melody, the melody and the tempo 
And, and judging by, like, listening to the beat, I could tell that the tempo is between 122 and 127 beats per minute. It's, it's in between there. Because as I was listening to it, I'm like, this beat is really, really slow. But it's not slow. It's not slow enough to be 120 beats because I can match that with the time and be able to tell in some regards. But yeah, I can tell that the tempo on the beat is between one is anywhere between 122 and 127 BPM. But the the slow speed of the beat and the melody itself it sets the tone for a melancholy type of song, right? And so when I hear what he's talking about and what he's saying, it confirmed what I was already thinking. So, in my opinion, and I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, Lil Peep fans, feel free to correct me in the comment section. Go off if you have to. I can take it. But my opinion of what I get from the song is he's basically talking about, you know, toxic relationships. It's, it's, it's like a toxic relationship. That's basically what it is, right? And so it kind of makes sense when you look at the kind of person he is, the way he was living his life, and just combine that with a lot of the things he's been through, it 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 uh it makes way for very chaotic and roller coaster type relationships because it's like on one hand, it's like you you want to be able to trust and allow yourself to be vulnerable and then be in love, but at the same time, you know that what comes with that vulnerability is extreme danger it's extremely dangerous to allow yourself to be vulnerable like that given his lifestyle and how he moves you know what i mean so it makes sense so the beat was good the song itself was good lyrical composition what he was talking about how he delivered his vocals on the track he i mean he always rides the beat he always rides the beat so the way he wrote the beat and did it in such a fashion to where you forget how slow the beat is because you're paying it, you're paying more attention to, to the vocals and what he's saying. It's phenomenally done. Now on the engineering side, it's interesting to me how his music gets engineered because it's like his vocal sound, his vocal sound like it's over compressed, but at the same time it it, it doesn't. It, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna say it like this. It sounds like it's compressed to the point where you take these frequencies, you're packing down the top end and you're packing down the bottom end to where you have something, you know, that's even, even on the top and on the bottom, right? But at the same time, it sounds like within that, whoever engineered it turned uh, turned down a lot of the uh, the lower end. So it's like you have this curve on the lower end to where it's like, you don't really hear the bass in the voice. You just hear the mids and the highs. Maybe, maybe like a little bit of the, the, the lower mids, but definitely the mids, the, um, and the highs, you can definitely hear that. And so it's just interesting how it, how it sounds like the final product sounds, because like I said, it sounds like his vocals are over, over compressed with a lot of the lower, lower end taken out which is kind of weird, but at the same time, it's like, when you when you focus on the vocals, you can hear the vocals clear, and you know, they're crisp and everything, and if you want to just focus solely on the beat, you can focus on the beat, and you can hear everything on the beat too, I don't know, it's weird, it's weird, but it works, so kudos to him for that, and kudos to the engineer and the team that, that you have behind you, so song itself is good, lyrical composition and how you put the vocals down was good. The beat selection is good. The engineering is good. The only thing is missing is a video if there is not one. And if there is one, feel free to link it in the comments and I can react to the video too. But overall, track is fire. Once again, Little Peep delivers. He has not let me down. And, and again, I understand why the fans ride so hard for this man. I mean, the, like the guy, for him being as young as he was when he passed away, I, I've said this before. The, the man accomplished a lot, bro. It is not easy to cultivate a cult-like fan base that still rides for you as hard as they did, if not harder, 
than they did when you were alive, brother. Like it's it's extremely impressive. And you know, I I, I gotta get I gotta give him his roses, man. Damn, son, where'd you find this? You know this? what I mean? It's like if you combine all those elements and the fact that he was so relatable, when you put it, when you package it all together, it ends up being the ultimate combo. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, man, that's pretty much my reaction. So if you like the video, go ahead and give this video a like. Share it with a couple of your friends. Make sure you follow me on all my social media sites. If you got something specific, go ahead and drop it in that comment section, man. It's your boy Anonymous Based. Peace. Becoming a man. Yeah, I know.